what is going on kingdom so today apparently i cannot be too loud it seems like just it seems like it's just the enemy is doing every single little thing in his power to stop me from preaching this message today but to this this is probably going to be one of the most important messages that i ever preach on this youtube channel you know what i'm saying and we're back on the movement of unity and today i just want to sit down with you i don't really want to yell at you like i kind of do with some of these videos today i want to just sit down with you and speak you know develop a level of understanding and just speak to you as to what my perspective is on this topic right here you see it by the title and this is probably going to be one of the most important most just impactful hopefully most just make a difference type of messages whether it does this year or in a year from now two years this is going to be one of the most important messages that i've ever preached and i've thought about this for a while and um it just i feel like it's just hit me this time i feel like it's just finally actually hit um, after me thinking about this for, I mean, it's been a course of a couple of years, but I mean, throughout the time of me doing these videos, a couple of weeks of me thinking about this and really developing and processing it in my head and in my spirit. So today I'm ready. I mean, I hope this video blesses you. I really, really do. I mean, I'm sure this video is going to bless you because this is very important today. And today, what I want to speak about is about hood mentality. Okay, hood mentality. Now, I'm sure a lot of us know what this is. Some of us might not know what this is. You know what I'm saying? But as somebody that kind of comes from that, that kind of area, um, I just, I understand in my perspective a form of it. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to speak about how I think this topic right here is stopping us from unifying and working together. And it's actually leading us all to work against each other. And it's actually leading us all to, you know, work against ourselves and work against each other. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing that I want to speak about, so hood mentality. Number one, like a big part of hood mentality is, I'm, I'm first going to say this because this is actually going to be the most like, this is going to be the most simple part about it is a little lot of separation in um hood mentality you can say this by whether it comes from race or whether it comes from just not, not even just race just everybody to be honest with you everybody's kind of like taught when it comes to being in an area where it's dangerous like being in the hood or just coming from like what you would say is coming from nothing is that i have to grind and work on myself i have to get on my own purpose i got to do all these things on my own a lot of people that have that mentality of i have to do a lot of things i have to get on my purpose i have to do this on my own are products of the hood you know what I'm saying? Because they don't really know who to rely on. They don't really know who to trust. So, um, and especially with the music that they listen to that is really, really helping to encourage that mentality. You know what I'm saying? Where there's a lot of um, artists that are talking about, you know, I can't trust nobody. I work on my own. I do these things on my own. I don't I don't trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? I, I go in... Um, that, that's it, I'm hustling, I'm grinding, ain't nobody else on my level. Everybody's comparing in this music too. Everybody's saying, you're there, you're here and I'm there. I'm, and to be honest, one, that's not true because we as humans are all created equally, but also it's just the fact that it's, it's completely a negative mentality. Comparison, it's why I'm not super competitive. There's nothing wrong with being competitive, but I think that when it comes to like a serious, like you're down here and I'm up here and you'll never reach this level, I'm just better overall. It completely breaks the, the impact that unity can have. And a lot, not a lot of people want to really even be in unification or in, unified with somebody that is, um, you know, constantly comparing themselves to other people and saying that they're so much better than them. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not a good person to rely on. And one thing that happens is when you feel like you can't rely on nobody else, you're not very reliable either. And this is just something that a lot of the hood mentality creates inside of us, whether it comes from the music or what we're taught is you have to get on your own stuff because sometimes I feel like a lot of our generation that's coming from you know, the um these these types of areas is coming from the hood. You know, um our parents didn't really have other people that were out here, um th th that were out here taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's like because they grew up in a similar area and so that's why we're here now or you know, again, even it can go from it can even go as a part of race as well, you know what I'm saying? And this is coming from somebody I'm mixed. This is coming from a person of color here, like Yo, it's a lot of like, it's a lot of people and families in the black community that are separated. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that there's, of course, all kinds of reasonings behind that that I might get to later in this video, but it's just the truth. It's just the general truth and something that um, I spoke about a long time ago on YouTube before, but I just think it's important to, to, to touch on these details so they can be understood and felt and they can really, really, um, they, they, they can touch somebody. Somebody can feel out these um, things that I'm speaking about. So the first thing that I really just kind of wanted to speak about was separation in terms of, it's just encouraged. It's encouraged. Separation is encouraged. And 
another thing that I also want to talk about in this message, again, I just want to sit down and talk. I don't really want to scream. I don't really want to yell. I do that a lot in these messages. And, you know, I'm really trying to motivate, you know what I'm saying? But I really, really, um, it, it took me a lot to build up to this message. And I just want to talk and develop an understanding. So what I want to speak about now is going to be, um, is going to be about what's in the hood that's keeping a lot of us um, separated, you know, and this can go from, again, honestly, I also want to bring it in a way to, um, to race just because, yo, in these types of areas, you know, of course, it's predominantly people of color in these areas, but it's also predominantly black people, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, especially considering a lot of this music that we see, that I'm talking about, you know, guns and drugs and things that are promoted in the hood and talking about weed and all of these things, you know, promoting a really, really bad message. These songs are created by black artists. You know what I'm saying? So it's just another thing that's that's like actually it's actually promoting the stereotypes and the stigmas that generally are not true. You are born. We are all born equally. We are not born with this kind of like freaking with, with this kind of like. I don't know mentality, but it's it's an influence. You know what I'm saying? It's an influence that's happening not just within the black community, though, just within the hood in general. It's an influence that's being created. Something that I've had upon myself as well. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the years, when I used to listen to that kind of music, I used to think the same thing. I used to act like I couldn't really work with nobody. I had to do things on my own. I'm the only person that could do. I have to do all everything by myself. It's like completely leading you in a direction that is going to make you fall. Unity is important. You know what I'm saying? And want to say some of the things also that are promoted in these songs in this music that we listen to there's drugs there's alcohol there's smoking there's there's actually shooting each other there's battle like, like literally it's like unity is completely like it's like if somebody were to talk and preach about unity to you you know what i'm saying it's like you would be like dang that's powerful but at the same time you would go right back and listen to one of them songs that are completely that are completely um what is it just just they're not Bring, they're bringing down unity. They're making it seem like unity is just weak. It's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Who, who's, who really planted these seeds of disbelief out here? You know what I'm saying? And I just want to speak so much about this because it's just crazy to me. It's just crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to say this too. You know, just not as to create comparison, but whether you want to quote unquote say it as white people or whether you want to say it as people that are just not that are not again like in suburban areas and better areas in the country or whatever where all this crazy stuff ain't going on is predominantly white people you know what i'm saying and i'm sure it's becoming more diverse in the suburbs but it's been it's it's you get what i'm saying you you understand and i'm not saying these things isn't an offensive way i'm saying these things isn't a truthful way as to what it is and you see a lot of these people that are in these areas they work together you know what I'm saying? This a lot of people. It's billionaires that they work with each other. There's millionaires, billionaires, people that live and have big like they have all these big these big yachts, boats. They have all these big. They probably are uh, uh, with their family. You know what I'm saying? Whether whether it's complete or not, their family is very likely together. Whether they have every member of that or not, again, their overall family is there's likely a togetherness in it. Not everybody is separated, and I know that um it's a lot easier because there's so, so much less pain built up. There's so much less pain built up in a situation like that to the point where it's easier for people to work together, especially when it comes to it's just I, I don't know. It just is easier. There's less pain built up for everybody um when it comes to those kinds of situations. I guess I try to think about it like. And like in the situations in the hood, it's like literally families are completely separated from their emotions. It's like nobody talks about stuff that's real. Everybody says that they're real, but they're not talking about stuff that is real. You know what I'm saying? Emotions, mental health, spiritual awareness, growth. These things are real. Oh my, um, my apologies. My phone had lost. Um, there was um, <coughs> there was too much like sun on the camera, so the phone like the temperature just jacked up. You know what I'm saying? And so the whole thing stopped. Um, that that kind of happens to phones. They need to cool down and stuff, so the camera got to stop. But um. Yeah, like what I was talking about before, it's just, it's like these things are real, these things are generally, and, and they're not spoken about, and again, I just want to say these things, I know it's not easy coming from these areas, the first thing, they, like the first step is knowing this, the first step is the awareness that this is true, the first step is understanding that, because I feel like a lot of us are brainwashed, we're blinded, it's like, all this stuff is just life, you know what I'm saying, all this, all this like, these same songs, all of these same, the, these, the same person selling drugs across the dang street or something, Something or the same like the crazy stuff that's going on and all these like, like all this this is just life and I'm not gonna say that it's not life but it's it, it's it's coming from something there is an origin behind it it's coming from something that 
as long as we learn to create an awareness and understanding and we work towards going against it, we can make a difference. That's really what I want to say because I want to see the best for everybody. No matter what, I believe that we're all created we're all created equally, all of us as humans, and it's not just dependent on where we come from as to who we are. God knows who we are. God loves us and God knows who we are. That doesn't depend on that that doesn't depend on what you look like or what your who what your personality is or what or where you come from. That doesn't depend on that. And we're acting like it is, to be honest with you. We're acting like Sometimes we're really acting like in this, just in America, we're acting like, you know, your value, we're still acting like your value is lowered because of your race. It is just the truth and the facts because let's look at just, I mean, it's a generalization, but who is t like, like, like which race of people is generally coming from these kinds of areas? Like, is black people, and who's generally coming from the nicer areas, the more, I guess, people in power even, you know what I'm saying? Isn't it like, like, like there's mad billionaires, and there are like a whole bunch of them white people, like, I've heard about this stuff before, and it's just generally the truth, it's like that power is still there that the people are trying to keep away from any level of diversity, I'm just saying it because I see it for what it is, you know what I'm saying, and I'm a little bit, I, I'm just, I, I'm hearing this, like, it's time for me to speak about it, because it's also not easy, you know what I'm saying, there's the mix kid to say all this junk but guess what somebody got to and i don't see a lot of people speaking about this stuff it's time you know what i'm saying it's time for somebody to try and shed some light here and um i want to talk about i guess one more thing before i get up out of here is um is the is the blindness of phones technology you know what i'm saying because this is one thing you see too i'm not even finna talk just like when it comes to anything or race i'm just finna talk about people in the hood in general bro most of us got phones. Most of us are on our phones, like, t a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people, of course, who everybody is on their phones a whole bunch. I would think that because there's so much, th there's so much more pain, hate when it comes to coming from an area like this. There's so much more pain coming. A lot of pain gets put in the phone. A lot of pain gets put into constantly trying to find the right influences or watching these other people and then trying to be like them. When that's not what your purpose really is, to be this big YouTuber with whatever freaking whatever they're doing, you know what I'm saying? I've seen all these things, story times, or they're playing Fortnite, or they're playing dang 2K, whatever they're doing. Listen, that's that might not be you. I'm just saying, but it, it's like it's what you see, and so it's what you want to become because it's like you're not promote. It's, it's like it's not promoted for you to look into what God wants for you, you know. And so we put a lot of our pain into the phone. We put a lot of our pain into whatever we do on the phone. Again, addictions come from that. Like these sexual videos out here. It's a lot of people. I'm sure that's in. Also, that's also in the hood. That's watching these videos. I'm not saying this all just. But I'm just saying. I would think that if you if you did a comparison in percentages here from people that are coming from these areas and people that are coming from much nicer, better areas where they're actually t like have togetherness and they're all together with their families and they're all doing nice things or they're just there's just love there it doesn't even have to come from materialistic things just love just just development in unity if you do these comparisons here you know what i'm saying like from these different areas from these different what's promoted in these different areas what's going up i'm sure there's more people in the hood watching them sexual videos and of course there's more of them that's doing this this out here smoking this out here drinking this out here doing all these things to cope with pain because there's so much built up from being in these kinds of areas and not having nobody to feel like you can rely on. Why? Because you couldn't really rely on nobody because it's so promoted to not be able to rely on nobody. And so it's just like that's what it is. And the phone. Listen, I just want to say this real quick. A lot of people act like the phone is a real connection and that's all that they really need. And so they don't, they feel like they don't have to go and whether it's a family and they feel like they don't have to speak to each other. This could be friends. This could be, this could be um, brother, sister, mom, dad, or boyfriend, girlfriend, or mom, daughter, mom, son, dad, mother, like it could be any connection, any type of relationship you have with anybody. And it's like people act like the phone is a real like thing. Like this is like, like, I'm sorry, but this, and I want to talk about this in a different message, but this stuff, this virtual stuff right here, this like phone, this, uh, this is pixels. You are not like this. Is, you are not developing no type of real like connection with me through me speaking. This is like, this is going to be like a hologram of me that you're watching through a screen. I'm not going to talk about that because I want to talk about that in a different message, but I just want to say that, Hey, a lot of people think that, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 that thing is huge. I'm sorry, that wasp is huge. Whoa, 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 listen. Hey, hey, that's something I gotta get over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but listen here. I just want to say, man, yo, these phones, this thing right here this is actually good because this phone, I'm holding it now. This phone is not like, you can go and you can call up, you know what I'm saying? Ring, 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 ring. You can go and call up 
I'm somebody that's in your household and, you know, it's good to be able to communicate. I'm not here to say that that's not true. It is good to be able to communicate. It is a good thing. But what I want to say is it is not, I'm going to set this somewhere. It is not a true connection. Being on these phones and talking to each other and stuff, this is not a true connection. This is not connection. You know what I'm saying? This phone stuff is not connection. It's good to be, it's convenient for communication and that's it. You're not truly connecting when it comes to being on these phones and that's generally what I believe. I believe you're connecting when you're in person with people doing things together because that's how it was initially created. It wasn't initially created for us to go on a virtual screen and go and talk to, and, and go and talk and then that's all you really gotta do, just check up. Imagine if we didn't have these phones. People would have to be around each other and that's one thing that I feel like we're also really um, going through a lot with. Or maybe they wouldn't and then who even knows at that point but in, in order to create any type of communication check on anybody in your family which we all generally we have love for each other somewhere deep inside we have love for each other as families and i think that that would come out a lot more if we didn't have all these phones that were blocking us from feeling like we even had to bring that out you know what i'm saying it's deep it's deep and I just think that because there's so much pain, there's there's a lot of pain built up from coming from like, coming from the hood. You know what I'm saying? You go and because there's so much pain from these areas, these things that you see, what happens to people that you love, or um, just how much how much you see that's disturbing that you don't need to see. The lack of love and just the overwhelming abundance of hate. You end up going to these things. You don't even you might not even realize that it's all because of these things, but you go to drugs, you go to alcohol, you go to smoking, you go to pornography, you go to whatever is there that is going to make you feel better in that moment. And then, you know, as time goes on, then we create families and it's like there's so much pain built up that we have up inside of us. You know what I'm saying? And this is where the stigma or whatever, oh, black fathers never there for their families. That's that's a big part of where that stigma comes from and it's jacked up. But that's where that stigma comes from is like, it's generally a lot of people of color out here or it's a lot of black people out here that, yo, this stuff is promoted to them because it's like it freaking, it, it's, it's so hard, especially being in a nation where you are, you're still like promoted as being lower than others that junk has got to be difficult that junk has got to be really really painful and so then you go to these things you go to these other things that are promoted to you to make yourself feel better and then you end up going and one of the things that is there is sex and then you end up doing that and end up having a child if you haven't even faced yourself as a human being as a man yet how are you supposed to face a child that you have you know what i'm saying and then it, i just want us to think about this perspective here and then it just ends up being a thing where you know, you're really not there. It's tough. And I just wish that we could think about these things so that we could end up trying to figure out a way to a solution. Because I don't really know what the solution is. I'm not, I don't know who planted all these seeds, who planted all these seeds of disbelief, who planted all these seeds of hate. But I just, you know, I'm praying to God each and every day, you know, and I'm very, very thankful about this wisdom and knowledge that God has put on my heart. Because you know what I'm saying? It's important for us to speak about these things. There's so much I can talk about. What else do I even have to say? I mean honestly i don't know <laughs> that's pretty much everything all i'm saying is these phones and, and then we end up that's the thing we end up going and acting like the phones are like what the real connection is and so we're good we're set you know and what, what are you talking about pain what do you mean you know what i'm saying but if these phones ended up going away you would completely would be your eyes would be open to it in how connected you are with your family versus how you're not you know what i'm saying because a phone is not a connection and people act like it is, so there's like, oh, there's no pain. I'm there for my family, you know what I'm saying? There's no, I, I'm not going and, and having so much pain that I'm not spending time with nobody because I haven't faced myself yet. I'm not doing that at all. Phone, if the phone was gone, you would realize it. And you know what? I'm not here saying it to judge. I'm not. That's not what I'm here to do either. I'm here to try and say, I want us to be understanding and aware of this because this is the big thing we're not. And there's always ways. God got us. Anything that we need, anything that we want, anything that we desire, it's something that we have to desire to want a better connection with each other. Overall, just as a community. You know what I'm saying? Not even just to take it to race. Not even just to take it to gender or take it to whatever you want to, whatever you call yourself. Whatever it is, I'm talking about just as the body of Christ and that and just overall as a unit as a country you know what i'm saying as a world not just a as a world as a planet you know i have a lot of passion and just love for this kind of topic here and it's so big now i'm very glad that i got this one out the way this is a big message here oh no the temp temperature again <laughs> dang it oh no but that's all i really got to say my phone ended up the camera stopped because of the temperature again so um i just want to say god bless you i appreciate you for watching this video today i hope this made a really really big impact and thank you so much for everything i appreciate you i thank you and god bless you
peace.